Yeah. All right. Hello, everybody. Um, like you, like you said, it's the 13th of February. Are you the ignoring month, me? Oh Are you ignoring oh, me? No, go ahead. I did. Oh, you're a mean one, Mr. Unicorn. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, uh, you have to hear the backstory to that. At three, he four, does, five in the morning. Yeah, he does the Grinch, Grinch song using me. <laughs> and I got to hear that <laughs> half, half the night. Anyway, <laughs> let's move on. Um, a couple things I was going over, you know, I. <sighs> How, you look at Ash Mupara, I'm going to give you, I want you to think about something. He drew people in. He created a culture. And we believe in him. The people that believe. And let's, let, let's remember some. There's negative people and there's positive people. There's neutral people. Neutral and the positive people, those, those are the people that are in the sunlight here, okay? Anybody else I'm not talking to. But... <laughs> A true leader works on, first, you have to believe them. Second is they have to treat you, in most cases, better than they treat themselves, okay? They push people above themselves. That's Hachmi Um Part of the, as we look at this journey that we've been on that I wouldn't, that is priceless for me, it, it, uh, it, it, it inspired me to inspires others. Isn't that cool? It inspired me to inspire others. It did. And and I understand the importance of it because of it. Ash built a company that is designed for you to reach your potential. And a lot of people, all of us, most of us, when we're growing up, uh, we maximize our what we believe is possible at a very, very early age. Now, that would keep going if reality didn't set in and knock us down. But um, Passive has created in the last five years for me, some people, five and a half years, going on six, it's the sixth year, they created an atmosphere of hope and a platform of building your dream again. And for me, it went beyond that or even more so. And a lot of you, the same thing. I believe we are there, like it's happening and it's only going to get better. And I'm going by what it, what's been going on in my life as far as I'm passive. It's always getting better. And it's really hard in this day and age to trust somebody 100%. Like, there's always some kind of hidden agenda. I don't feel that, not even a minute dot that the company or Mr. McFarland is trying to get over. It just doesn't make sense. Common sense would tell you if if you are that person, which I, <laughs> I have joined many companies that were those people, and they gave me full reason to believe that I shouldn't trust them. By the time, now, thank God I was a positive person because I never went in with the attitude, oh, I'm going to fail. This is no good. They're all out to get me. Life's too short for that. I always believe in the positive. I always believe it's going to be great. But I've been beat down, and it never happened. Now, thank God I didn't keep that beat down because I would have never found on passive. No matter how many times I felt, whether it was the from the company I was in or the company I joined or people that joined with me and it failed, yeah, it hurt. It may have hurt big time. But when I finally get here and you finally see or you meet somebody that believes what you believe in a much bigger scale, it's like you could knock me out with a with a hammer. I'm staying here. And as I'm watching this company grow and, and get bigger and bigger and bigger, it all goes back to leadership. And there's many types of leadership. There's uh, influencing, there's dictator. In other words, you're forced to do what they tell you to do. There's inspiring, which is more Mr. Mufara. 
he gave a dream. He spoke the dream out loud. And very quickly, some of us said, we believed him. And as time went on, because he always lifted people above himself, you believe more and more and more and more. Then what do you do is inspiring is contagious. You actually find yourself inspiring others. That's where the strength of this company came from was believing in somebody even if they don't believe in themselves. And you think that's not, that's not possible. Yes, it is. A lot of people want the best thing, but they don't believe they can have it. But if, you, if you're in this company long enough and you start to realize, you know, I believe this is going to happen. I believe I can reach my goal. Once you get that belief, it's over. There's time involved. There's things being involved. But something this big, this good is not going to happen easy. It's not. It's going to be a very difficult road because there's a lot of outside forces that they don't give a crap about inspiring. They don't give a crap about uplifting humanity. In fact, there's many, there's many forces out there that they actually profit from keeping people down. They actually profit from keeping people down. And and that's kind of sad. I didn't realize how corrupt things were until you find out how how good it could be. When I saw him pass him and all the, how Mr. Mephara talks, how people are listening to him and he's inspiring like first hundreds, then thousands and tens of thousands. And I love the idea that I'm part of that. And I know Chris does too. He can talk about it. Um, Being part of that is amazing for me. Just to be able to be a little small gear in this massive inspirational dream, dream platform that he has put together. Uh, I'm already seeing people move up in their belief and what they believe is possible already. I already see it. Now, when some of these bottlenecks are widened and and the clog is out and, and things are moving forward, I cannot even imagine where we're going. But I do, I do believe this, where we're going is going to really blow us away. And that's why when I'm talking, I'm not standing there going, hey, listen to me. And in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, how many tens of thousands of dollars can I make by tricking somebody to believe me? Not at all. And if you know me, you you know that's true. If you don't know me, you'll think I'm full of crap and I'm a conniving guy from New Jersey. That's okay. You have that right. Go ahead and do it. Just be a tree slug somewhere else. I don't need to see it. And if you can get a couple slugs together and they believe it, you know, form a YouTube channel and rip us apart and have fun. But the point is when when you see that happening and the inspire, it's so funny when you inspire others, it's like a it's like a, a pinball. You inspire, it inspires, it inspires, inspires again. It's going ding, 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 ding. And when it comes back to you, which is the proof of people growing and and becoming the best of who they can, um, Ampassive didn't make anybody. It's just saying, hey, Johnny, yeah, you're not trapped in this little area in your mind. You deserve and you can be, you can go as far as you want to go. And what I really, really love about it, that person right now, they can't watch this because they have no internet. They barely get by. They can't find water. They have to walk to get it. Then they have to pray to God that when they drink it, it doesn't kill them. While I'm sitting here, can drink all the water I want. I have all the food I want. And I see people complaining. The beauty of Unpassive is it is searching out that poor little soul in Africa or India or some country that lost hope. They are raised in a hopeless situation, actually raised in it. Their parents were, their grandparents were. So when Unpassive comes along 
I know there's people out there that want to beat it down, which is absolutely horrendous to me, that you can have something that will change people's lives that in any other way will never have a chance. It, it, it's really depressing. It's sad. But you know that, that, that first apple that falls off the tree and it falls into the hands of somebody in the village somewhere that's struggling, that same $500 to me, which is a big deal for me right now, but it's a massive deal for most of the people. Massive. And then you have that happen, and they know that they're friends with a Chris Johnson or somebody else around the world, and this thing gets bigger and bigger and bigger. This culture and this movement, I never thought I'd be something, be part of something like this. So there's no way. I heard a couple of people say, I always thought I'd be part of something big. I, I really did. Years and years ago, I I thought there's got to be more to life than a couple mile drive and a hearse at the end. You know what I mean? There's more to life. Then I started realizing the words written in red, how important they were. And you know, in reality, if you look for me as a Christian, if you look in the Bible, the words written in red, there's not that many. In comparison, there's not that many, but they're very powerful. And what did it do? The Bible inspires you to be your best you. And now we're doing it out in the open, spiritually, but we're also doing it physically. And I can't wait. And I mean this. People can believe whatever they want. I have no control about it. I don't even care. But I know the people that see this and really want to do it. And that person right now that's watching this for the first time and going, boy, they're, they're fortunate. The door's not closed. The door has just opened for on passive. Anybody can come in. And if you're worried about getting ripped off or it's going to cost me this and this, you can join free. And it's not like you join and you enter your credit card to put down like a, you know, to prove who you are. None of that. You can join free. Absolutely free. You can never pay if you don't want to and still be part of something that I believe will change mankind. The the biggest impact we'll ever see. Will it change the whole world? I think so. As time goes, yeah, I really do. Because I think goodness and and positivity, positivity and inspiring is contagious. And if you have one do it, you might help too. But when you have thousands and then you have tens of thousands, then you have millions. I don't care what anybody says. I don't give a rat's ass what anybody says, the negativity. Negativity is darkness. If you turn the light on, the darkness never, ever wins. I don't turn my light on and darkness is fighting it, and sometimes it wins. Never. It disappears instantly. You can't find a shred of darkness when the light is on. And I'm telling you, if all of us get that light within and make it as bright as we can, you wouldn't be able to find darkness with a telescope. Okay, you wouldn't. And surround yourself with people like that. And listen, sometimes the negativity and the darkness is family members. But And, and I want to say something, this is important. Don't confuse negativity with fright or being afraid, because some people that don't understand automatically give a negative shield. And people look at it and go, oh, he's negative. No, he's not, he's scared to death. He's been ripped off before, or she's been ripped off before. You knock that shield down. You give them a reason to lower that shield and let them see what Unpassive is really about. I think we're gonna be amazed. Never push anybody aside, never assume why somebody did something. We're all living a life, we all have things going on in our life that is sometimes devastating. Sometimes like, oh my God, I can't believe this happened. I've had it myself, trust me. And I know other people do. So As said something really important. He said, I have no time to look at somebody and find a fault. 
he searches right away, seconds into the conversation. What can I find good about this person? Now, could you imagine if we all did that, if we met somebody and we shoot to find the goodness? Because I'll tell you what, even somebody that's afraid and appears to be negative, if you, within a few minutes of a conversation, find something about them that makes their eyes sparkle, the darkness will slowly disappear. They don't want the darkness there, but it's like a shield for them. If I stay negative, I'm not going to get burned. If I don't walk out there, I'm not going to trip. If I don't run, I'm not going to fall. If I stay right where I am, I'm safe. But safe how? What kind of life is not living to your fullest? So remember that when you're talking to people, you're building. And don't, don't jump on people. Plant the seed and move on. I've had people call me. Marty, I can't get my people to do this. I can't get my people. That's not your job. Your, your, your thing is you share this with people. And I want to tell you something. All of the people that you're trying to convince, they're watching you. They're watching you from afar. Remember tool man or tool time? And the guy next door has got his head over and you just see his eyes. He's watching. You don't need to keep looking back over the fence. What's he doing? Does he see me? They see you. But move on. Always move on. Because trying to convince drags you down. You don't have time for that. Life's too short. Keep moving forward. Keep planting seeds. And then look back. And you'll be surprised. That fence that was eight foot high, now it's six. And then five, four, three, two, one. And the person will walk out because they feel comfortable. And they go, you know what? Chris Johnson didn't just talk the talk. I've been watching him for six months, a year, two years, three years. He believes in what he's saying. He's happy. There's something there I need to know. That's inspiring an invisible inspiration. People say, well, you have to see everything. I don't believe that. A lot of things in my life changed that I physically couldn't see it. First, it was with belief, but I wanted to follow. I always look at the leader of wherever I go because I knew that I'm going to be directing people to whatever I'm in. And it was very important in 2019 when I found on Passive that I got to know, got to meet this Ash Mufara guy. And my God, was I wrong? He's so much more than what I thought. And what an inspiration to me, my family, to people around him. Um, but yeah, I mean, the sad thing is, he's so inspirational that the, the, the minute amount of people that hate him, hate him as much as we love him. Does it make sense? No, I don't get it. I never got it. But we can't concentrate on that. We have to keep moving. If, if Mr. Mufar concentrated on uh, the bumps in the road or a couple of people that badmouth him or industries that are trying to knock him down, where would we be, everybody? Where would we be? This would have been over a long time ago. Would have been over a long time ago, but he's not that guy. And thank God I've never met his wife. I've heard her in the background. She's that woman. Now, you can't tell me that two people like that with a big heart who had the money, had the influence, had the brains to do something like this, but didn't need to. They could have they could have been the richest people on the planet, if not the top five. And they said, no, let's enhance as many people as we can. If you can't appreciate that, you're not digging deep enough. You're not looking to the core of this company of what happened. Everything we got going on now that, that has either made a bottleneck or slowed things down was because Ash wants to bring people with them. It's no joke. It's no joke. If there weren't founders or somebody, the early bird people, if we weren't here, we could be on product number five. And hundreds, if not billions, bringing brought in and the company just growing and growing and growing and growing. I, I believe that. But as they went, 
he saw where the little boy or the or the family in Africa or the little family everywhere, families that struggle and never would have an opportunity. Oh, no, no, no. We can't leave them behind. Slow down. Let's find a way to make this right. That's powerful crap. And, and, and you need, you know, you don't need to do it, but man, it'll make you feel better if you did. And I know a lot of people I chat with and different places we go, it's getting bigger and, and, and better. And I tell you, it's my sister, Diane, she has a thing with her eye. And she said, Marty, our family always prayed a lot. But I never went to the doctor until I was probably 30 years old. And, and everything was about prayer. Er, everything. And I thought it was the same for everybody. She called me and said, uh, I know you believe in prayer. You know, I'm asking that you pray for my eye. I said, I'll have everybody that I know. I'll make a post. Okay. <laughs> she wrote back about four hours later and goes, Oh my God, I can't believe all the people that prayed and they're saying my name and all. I said, that's the company I'm in. I didn't say to her, I made $10 million. That's not valuable to me. Is it give me choices? Yeah, I didn't make $10 million, by the way. I don't want you calling Chris's phone. If I was making $10 million, I wouldn't be talking. I'm just kidding. I'm going to make it worse. Um, but my point was that made me feel better than the potential income that I'm going to get. I'm no joke. And you could say, oh, he's full of crap. Bite me. You could say whatever you want. I, I try every day to speak from my heart in the truth. And some people just don't, don't believe people. That's okay. And let's all push forward. Let's all inspire. Let's all lift people above ourselves. Let's become the servants that we were asked to be from the very beginning. We were asked to give. We were asked, love thy neighbor. Almost every religion says that. Almost every one. Take care of people. You know, I went to Russia 20 years ago before I got sick. And in my mind, they were the evil empire. Why? Well, why wouldn't I believe that? It was all over TV. The Cold War, the, the lukewarm war, or some kind of war. I knew it wasn't good, but I went there. I went to Siberia. Yep, I lived a joke, a blunt of a joke. I met people. I went back. It felt like I went back to 1935. The homes were built, log homes, and walking by them, I could see a gap between the logs and see inside their home. There was a bunch of ladies, old, old, old ladies who had brooms. The brooms were handmade. There were sticks and they tied them together and they walked in a row and swept the street. No joke. I was like, what? And I'm driving on the side and the lady's sitting there and she's selling seeds. Then I met the people at the work, the place I worked. Now, the, the company was pretty nasty, the management and all that. But the out, act, actual people, one of the most beautiful people I ever met. My God, what happens if I went by what I thought? What happens if I went by what I thought? That's why the stuff you're hearing now where they're just promoting hate and you're evil and you did this and, and just lie after lie. Do people believe it? Yeah. The sad thing is they do. They don't know any different. But the world's not really like that. Governments are. But nobody in Russia who makes $100 a month, by the way, is contemplating how to get us. Okay? They, they are surviving. And I noticed they didn't fight over anything. You know why? Nobody had anything. They didn't look at their neighbor and go, oh, I wish I had that. Their neighbor was as poor as they were. 100 bucks a month. That's the evil empire that I've met. Anyway, so I'm going to move on. Uh, 450 people, thank you. My main thing is here. Uh, I always want to inspire, but I want all of you to inspire because if you do, it will build you 
and it will build them because it's a positive thing to do. And that's what Mr. Mufara started. Leadership is how you lead through inspiration. And he did that and it worked. What other company do you know that brought in and surround himself with a million people? Brought in people from all around the world, all over Dubai, and we never sold a product. What did they see? Don't you think they saw this is, I want to be part of this. The people that joined him that didn't need a job, they could get a job anywhere. They write their own check. They they gave that up to be part of on passive. Why? Use your common sense. Why? Why did a nuclear engineer come here? It's not even, it wasn't even established yet. Why? Why would you take that chance? He's set for life. He could have done whatever he wanted because they saw it. And we see it. And remember, share it and move on. Share it and move on. People are watching you that you don't think are. I know people say, I want to build this. I want to build Smilled. You do the right thing. The company is set to make you a superstar. All of you will be expert in anything to do with Unpassive. Just go with the flow and don't worry about things you can't change. Don't worry about some little thing that happened in the back office and, oh, my God, look at it's going to be fine. I'm telling you, it's going to be fine. They are juggling thousands of things at one time, but they love it. And he's got the best of the best. And what's happening now? PhDs, inventors, inspirational people, people that want to change the world, but never had the backing, never had a foundation that they trusted. Where are they at? They're in freaking on passive, just like we are. So Anyway, um, I'm going to turn it over to my little brother. I can't walk like Chris Johnson. Now, wait a minute. Remember, at 2 o'clock, Robin the Voice Noble, I believe, is with um, Collins and Andy. And Andy, and maybe Comfort. I'm not sure. I, I think Comfort. Yeah. Make sure you see that and uh, check the back office for everything else. Chris, it's over to you. Okay, there's a gentleman named Inspire You, Inspire Us. Okay. Okay, gotcha. There's a gentleman named Adam. Wait a minute. Do not do the crin the Grinch theme. If I do that one more time, Three let it go. All right, go. You, you wanted me to call you. Get rid of Adam on this chat. Also, he's being a little negatory. Thanks, Red. Red will be coming on at eleven o'clock. Don't forget to check him out. Good morning on Passive Founders. How are you all today? I'm looking pale, as Myra Aquino just said. Chris, you look like you're a little pale. Well, that's because they took a lot of blood out of me. <laughs> and uh, normally I don't like being this pale, but now that I'm comparing my head to Marty's, Marty looks like he's got a great tan, man. So, yeah, I'll get out in that sun. I've been actually staying pretty busy, resting, but staying busy. But I will be out in that sun eventually here because it's it's chilly out. As you see, I got a sweatshirt on. But. The wind's blowing, the sun's shining. It's just a perfect world for me. Uh, wow, Marty touches so many things, and I don't want to talk about any of it because I think he touched on, on all of it. What I do want to say is I'm, I want to give you all assignment. You know I like giving assignments, and you could do it or not. I don't care, but it's good for the soul. Now, I, all of us have said write down what you really want, what your dreams, what your goals. Let's change that for today. And, and I want to see you post it on your social media. Why? I'll tell you in a minute. This is what I want you to do. I want you to explain what you want to do for people, what you want to do for the world. Maybe it's one section in your neighborhood. Maybe it's somewhere in the middle of Africa, or maybe there's a little spot in New Zealand that you want to help out. Anything. I want to know about it. I want people to know about it. I want people to understand that a passive isn't just about making money. It's about turning people's lives around and changing things. Uh, that's your assignment. Real simple. Put it on your uh, your your um, passive media. You can put it on your Facebook media, Instagram. I don't care. Let people know what you're doing in a positive way. Uh, it, listen, people aren't going to join on passive right now. Because there's so much stuff going on and they don't believe you and they don't have to believe you. And like I said, a million times, you never have to say, I told you so. But what you can do is show them or kill them with kindness. 
Uh, I have many people that I want to take out for dinner that, uh, you know, just refuse to get in this. Uh, they didn't believe it, but God, I can't. Can you imagine? Hey, you, you come here. So listen, and we all got this person that you really want a man, but they just don't get it. Come on, let's go out to dinner. You sit down, you have a conversation with them. Uh, you know, you pick them up in a real nice vehicle. You should, you, you top shelf alcohol, top chef steak, and they're eating with the best and just looking at them. And in their mind, they're thinking, what, what did this guy do? You know, and that's when you tell them, I don't, I don't need to say, I told you so. What I want to do is show them. And then I don't want to show them, Hey, look, I got a nice car. I got a big house. Yeah. I'm eating steak every night. Cause you're going to tease them with that one and let them know what you really want to do. What your whole goal was, why you got into this. Uh, a lot of us, it was for money, right? A lot of us uh, that help people out before seeing the potential and wow, I could do a hundred times more for this world, for my family, for people that I love that just aren't doing so good. I mean, this, this on passive is, if you ask me, dug a lot of people out of a lot of holes they were stuck in. They never even realized that I'm talking that J-O-B. And uh, one thing Ash Mafar has always said is I never asked you to quit a job. Uh, let me do what I have to do. Some people decided to quit those jobs and uh, that's on you. I don't tell anyone to quit your job. I say, let this get going. Like Ash says, let it build up. He is working his brains off right now for all of us. It's not about him. I've said that a million times. That was one thing that I will repeat myself on. And I don't really necessarily like repeating myself, but it's all done for all of us. Um, and let me throw out a couple of things people say to me in the last couple of years. Man, I get I gifted this guy. He don't want to do nothing. I got these people in. They don't want to do nothing. Because that's what we told them. That's what a passive was about. You don't have to do anything. Just get in it. You guys forget about that. Don't get upset because maybe maybe you have 20 or 30 people that you uh, it signed up for a passive. And they're not paying attention. They will. They will pay attention. Don't get angry at them. Because when we first started, what did we say? It's all done for you. And I'll have people call me up. I'll send out a bulk email just to remind people, hey, Chris, I thought you said I don't have to do nothing. You don't. <laughs> you don't have to do anything. Um, and as far as where you're at right now, you should be content. Uh, I, I have people every day. I was Marty on the phone with Marty today, this morning. We, I think he woke up or I woke up at 3 o'clock in the morning. He said, you up? Yep. And we talked me, myself, and Robert from 3 to, what, 5 o'clock in the morning. And we had all kind of good discuss discussions. But, you know, one guy says, hey, hey, uh, what's going on with the bolt commissions? It's not changed. It's still happening. Uh, people are moving and grooving. And what we say is pay attention to your emails. Oh, mail in your email. I had a guy the other day text me, and he said, Chris, I didn't realize that the, uh, the email they sent me went to spam. Well, he didn't see it. He, he opened it up and it was already dissolved. It was dissolved, so he's got to wait again. So, yeah, definitely check your spam folder. Uh, if you put in for that's only if you put in for a withdrawal. If you didn't put in for a withdrawal, I wouldn't worry about it. But I would check it anyway because, uh-oh, can you still hear me, Marty? Say yes if you can hear me. Yes, if right, you can I'm, hear me. I'm getting a fault on my computer saying it went wrong. But, uh Listen, people People ask me questions every single day, and I want to be as truthful and honest as I can be. There's some things that I think I would say you should know the answer to that. You don't need to be reinforced about what a passive is. There's nothing that I should be able or say to you how great a passive is. You should already know this, especially if you've been in it for three, four, or five years. Uh, a lot of people question things. Uh, about a passive and it bothers me a little bit wow you should know that there's so many things given to all of us especially the notes by our amazing note builders i call them daryl pete janet and dan uh and they write it all just straight out what it is all about and you should know everything but this company was built for all of us they're still working on a lot of things we only know very very small of what actually is going going on and on passive. Uh, hey, thank you, Mary and Chris. Always, I like your new name, Mary. 
<laughs> it's not the gumbo at least. Um, but the great, uh, Mavis Bronny, thank you for the nice compliment. Uh, Cynthia Deering, how you doing? I love every one of you. I appreciate the prayers. I am doing great. Um, I'm thinking about what I really, really want to do. My next moves here. I know my daughter's coming in the 23rd, so I got to stick around for a little bit. I haven't talked to but a few people uh, because I've been resting. I have been being shuffled around by my cousins a lot. Uh, but I, I see the potential in Florida is not just living here, but, man, the people that I can help. Believe it or not, the, the area I am is like country, and there's so many people that are just struggling. And that, that breaks my heart, and I'm thinking, wow. Uh, I think warmer the state's. A lot more struggles, but we think there's no one struggling, but really it's all around us. All right. Make that little list today. Make it a to-do list of what you really want to do and then post it. People are going to ask you questions. What is all this about? Oh, you want to save the world? When someone says, Chris, do you think you could save the world? I say, absolutely. With the family I have, I can. I believe that. Why would I say it? Why do you think me and Marty come out here every single day? All right, every single day. Now, I just started the last couple months with Marty every single day. Why do you think we do this? Listen, first of all, let's clear it up. We don't get paid. Uh, are there a lot of things that we could be doing? Yeah, but this is the most important thing for us to make sure it's done every morning. Why? To remind people of the great place they're in. To give them little tidbits to help. There are people that wake up every single day. Uh, yeah, Chris, I don't watch your live anymore. I never said you had to watch my live. But if you want to be informed, I tell people, watch myself, Marty, Red, definitely watch 360, which is tomorrow. I hear my cousins moving around the golf carts. And uh, keep yourself plugged in. Um, you see, this is my little buddy I got as a gift from my cousin. That's that's Marty would look like if he'd never shaved and lost another 100 pounds. That's what Marty would look like. I want to show you something cool last night that I was showing Marty. You know, I like got all kind of hats. Uh, Minnow, Minnow Miller um, definitely has just a big heart. She sent me this really cool hat, and it gives you a whole new meaning to the light bulb moment. All right, it's a night, it's a light for nighttime. If you can't see, she sent me two. I haven't gotten the other one. It's over there. I got to go get it. Uh, but look at who would have thought of something like that? A guy that fell off the steps, maybe. I want to give you another example. And I'm not promoting anything. There's a company called Timu that I just started noticing about a year ago. And yes, they had a humongous, humongous commercial on the Super Bowl. I don't know if you guys know what it costs to get an ad on the Super Bowl. It's per, uh, Super Bowl. I think it's a million dollars a minute, if not more now. That was a, a company that went online selling things, good things for cheap prices. And look at them. That's the power of the Internet. You don't just you don't just start a coffee mug building company and put it on there and have a commercial on the Super Bowl. All right, that's technology. And that's one little thing. Ash Mafara built an entire world uh of things, <laughs> many things. And don't you believe that in the future we're not gonna be on the Super Bowl commercials? I can't say that for sure, but I don't see why in the future. We're going to be in America, a lot of North America. I, I, I know, I understand what Ash is doing right now as he's working around the world, uh, getting offices in bigger, bigger places. And I think America will be the last big, big hit. And I think that's for a reason. And I don't justify or I don't question his reasons because I don't have a clue what I'd be doing. You know, first thing people say, we should be in New York. Why? Why do you think we should be in New York? Period. I'm going to put this back on because I need a haircut. But just think about that. Think about all the businesses out there right now. And I want you to think about what they've ever said. Uh, you know, McDonald's, they got a good burger. So they say, hi, Lee. <laughs> My cousin. And uh, my passive's got everything. And I don't know if you guys realize yet, they have everything. Everything that we're going to need for online and everything is going to pay you out some big some little uh you're going to have i believe corporations advertising on your websites paying you some more i don't think there isn't any uh there's no room for 
not to be paid. Every every road that he built to your house or to your computer, it's it's a it's a golden path, you know. And you didn't have to do it. You didn't buy the uh, cement and and the gold and the shovels. You didn't have to do any of that. Count your blessings, guys. Most of you know what work is. I mean, I'm pretty sure you do. If you don't, I'm sure there's a reason for it. But you're going to be blessed beyond your belief. Um, traveling, absolutely. Maybe that motorcycle, maybe that whatever it is. But do, but you know that already. You know what you want. Make a new list of what you can do. Make a new list of what you can do for people. And start with your family. I guarantee you there's someone in your family that needs help. Uh, and I'm betting you already gifted them a, a founder position, which is great. But just think about that. There's a lot of people out there who don't have nothing. And we're and this company is about to give them everything. So don't ever forget that. Uh, happy birthday if you got a birthday today. Lots of prayers went out for Tim Johnson's eye. Also, he's doing much better. I'm glad to hear that. Uh, James Yates made a nice post about it on Passive Nation. Also, Marty's sister. Hey, man, prayer is power. How about we all do this? Let's pray for all everyone that's sick, no matter where you are, who you are. You don't have to be a founder for us to pray for you, too. Remember that. We're about everyone and anyone. So uh, I think I said everything. I'm looking around. If I have, no, I don't write notes. So if I miss something, I apologize. Red's coming out at 11. Uh, and I love everyone. And God bless. And we will see you tomorrow. Remember, 10 o'clock and then 2 o'clock, 360. And that should be exciting. No idea. So, Marty DeCarmo, back to you. Fantastic. Yeah, that mining hat would have been really come in handy 10 days ago, huh? Yeah, you know how uh, I wanted to let everybody know, you know, all the nursery rhymes we learned when we were younger. I don't know why, but Chris wanted to live Humpty Dumpty one. Uh, and all the king's horsemen, all the king couldn't put him back together again, but he's back. And see his little doggy there? Yeah. Uh, he is. He, he was able to christen the whole bus while Chris was sleeping. Yes, he, he crapped from one end to the other because he loves him so much. Dashboard, walls, floors. Not yeah. me, the dog. Not me, the dog. <laughs> well, let them figure out which one it was, okay? <laughs> yeah. She's having a hard time. I think it's the water. I switched her water. Because she's you don't think she might be a little nervous because of the owner? No, no. She's cost me a fortune. She stepped on her head twice yesterday. <laughs> hey, I thought this bus was expensive, but this dog, she's killing me. <laughs> I might have to find a part-time job in Florida just to keep up with her. What do you think? Uh, you don't care. She wants to go outside. You see Lee's out there. Lee's looking in her garden. <laughs> anyway, thank you, everybody. The, the tier. We had close to 500 people, which is mind-blowing, but I, I hope that we start something contagious and that's lifting people up above yourselves. Trust me, it feels good. It's the right thing to do. And it's contagious. Let people do that kind of thing and it's over. Anyway, love you all. Things are moving big time behind the scenes. I did text Mr. McFarlane last night and say, saying hi for me and Chris at freaking three o'clock in the morning. And he said something back, showing the whole staff of people in the meeting. He's always working. Uh, but anyway, yeah, we're moving along. It's been quiet for a week, which means there's a lot going on. Like uh, Chris said, we'll be on tomorrow at 10. And then we'll come back at 2 for uh, 360. And Red is on in 10 minutes. Yeah, nine minutes. Nine minutes. All right. I'll see you all, and uh, God bless. Wow. Oh, don't forget, there's something with Dr. Lisa late, later, which is pretty cool. Five, I don't know all the details. Five, six o'clock, okay. Yeah, five or six o'clock.